All right, UFC 308 is one day away. And the common question that I get all the time from so many people, especially because I guess in all honesty, they respect my striking abilities and they think I know who has a better chance of winning. So they come up and they go, Gabriel, Taporia or Holloway, who is gonna walk away with the victory? And I'm kind of like, oh. Um. <laughs> and as much as I'd like to say that I can make good predictions about fights, the reality is you never really know. But even more so than that, it's MMA. And I cannot account for so many factors. Let's be real, back in the day when I was watching K1 Max, and there was a roster within K1 Max of maybe, maybe 25, 30 fighters, I could generally be pretty solid, like probably a 90% win ratio on my picks. Nowadays, between boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, I don't know any of these fighters well enough. But what I want to talk about in particular is this logical sense that, well, Max Holloway lost to Volkanovski three times. Taporia knocked out Volkanovski in round two. And people therefore think, well, since Holloway lost to Volk and Volk lost to Taporia, then all of a sudden, by logic, the best fighter is Taporia, second best is Volk, and then down at the bottom, the number three spot, Will be Holloway so he has no chance of winning but fighting does not work like that we're not looking at straight up numbers it's not like swimming and being like oh this guy's consistently faster he's number one and then there's number two and then there's number three there are so many factors which we have to take into account stylistically different fighters present different challenges and sometimes we see the best fighters in the world make some guys just look silly. And then they face one certain fighter and they lose or they struggle a lot more. Even though this guy who gave them the problem was not somebody that really thought, oh, this guy was gonna be a big deal. So who would I think is gonna win the fight? I don't really know. You would have to give the edge to Taporia just because he's younger, he's so hungry, but Holloway. I mean, he's probably equally as hungry at this point to do something which hasn't been done. It would be the longest time between belt reigns. The last time he held the belt to now would be a historical number. So he'd accomplish something crazy. He's also, as I understand, the only fighter to hold the BMF title, the interim title, and be undisputed UFC champion. When we look at who he's fought and who he's lost to, it's like a who's who in the UFC. He lost to Volkanovski three times who was just on a tear. He lost to somebody I don't remember the name of. He lost to Conor McGregor a long time ago, like one of his earliest fights, if not his first fight in the UFC. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that was a great fight as well. And he's lost to Dustin Poirier. I don't know if I'm missing anything else there, but Poirier, he moved up in weight and still did decently well, I suppose, for somebody who's fighting outside of weight class, which he's not normally at. He's done amazing things, Holloway. And he constantly claims that he is the best boxer in the UFC. And this is the part about this fight that intrigues me the most. If it was to Poirier coming in and he was gonna just shoot and go for a takedown, and that's where the fight was gonna be, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm still gonna watch. But this one intrigues me so much because Taporia said in the interview, he doubts, he has many doubts that Holloway is the best boxer. He thinks he is the best boxer. And I've seen this dude put in boxing rounds in training. I've seen him hit pads. I've seen him fight and his hands are on point. He is so powerful as well. And nobody has finished Holloway. So it'll be interesting, especially with this idea that they have that they're gonna meet right in the center early on. I don't think that would be wise for either fighter, uh, probably less so for Holloway because he's not known for his power, uh, but he can take a shot, I know that. 
But for him to come out right early in the fight when you have a fresh Deporia and throw down, that's not going to be a smart move. So I hope he goes to his normal game plan, which is move around, wear them down bit by bit, maybe in the later round, then point. And if you want to do that thing where you just throw down and you don't really consider loads of defense, although I think that's a sketchy way to go. Like when he fought Gaethje, it turned out really well, but I feel like that could also not turn out well for you. So all in all, I just wanted to point out to you guys that never make the mistake that you think, oh, well, I beat this guy already, and he beat somebody else, and now I'm fighting this dude, so obviously I'm going to defeat him, and I don't have to take that dude that seriously. That is a big mistake, massive mistake, which you do not want to make. Don't think that there's this mathematical equation that works when somebody beats somebody and somebody beats somebody else and somebody beats somebody else that there's no way this guy down here has a chance of beating you. Styles make fights and they give just so much trouble, so much complication that you might not have anticipated and you just don't know. You never know what somebody brings. You step in there and all of a sudden you're going, wow, they just different and I don't quite know how to deal with it. So we may see that from Holloway on UFC 308 Saturday night. We also may see Taporia just look awesome and get the victory, which probably most people are expecting. Maybe not most, but the majority of people are expecting. Either way, I would not be surprised if Holloway wins. I will not be surprised if Taporia wins. I will be surprised if this is not a great fight. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it goes at least one round. And I think that's realistic. So I'm gonna do my best to be here on my computer Saturday night, bring you highlights, bring you action, give you my thoughts, and hopefully talk about an awesome fight that was mostly striking. I'll see you guys back here very soon.